I bet you can't clone me, Kobe. I bet you I can. Challenge is accepted. To clone you, I had to figure out exactly where you were. I saw you're completely licking a Batman statue. So I typed in Batman statue location on Google and it came up with the Batman in Burbank, California. I even got the exact address. I then took my cloning kit in my hand and drove all the way to Burbank, California. They licked California. a Batman statue. You know where this is? Yeah, it's right, right down there. They told me exactly where the statue was and I started walking. I had my cloning kit in my hand and I was ready to swab your DNA right off the side of that Batman. As I got closer, I didn't realize how big this Batman was. He stood over 7.5 feet tall and was made by artist Jim Lee for Marvel. It took him over two and a half years to make it and it was absolutely worth it. Once I got to the statue, I had to figure out exactly where you licked. After reviewing the footage of where you licked, I finally swabbed your DNA right off of Batman's leg using a scientific circular motion to make sure I got every single strand and piece of DNA. I then examined the Q-tip and you could even see pieces of DNA right on the Q-tip. I then put the DNA Q-tip back inside my DNA grade case and for an extra level of protection, closed it up and put it inside my bulletproof DNA casing. Once it was tightly secured and fastened inside the casing, I then took it back to my laboratory so I could clone it. Back you. at my laboratory, I opened up your DNA protective case. And from the looks of it, it doesn't look like it was damaged on the way to the lab. I then took out the chemical grade DNA tube, opened it up carefully, and put Cytochrome 437 solution inside the tube. I then used a medical syringe to extract 0.5 ounces of DNA so I could look underneath the microscope. I placed 16 drops right Right onto a microscopic plate and placed it underneath my $10,000 microscope. Underneath my microscope, I put it on 3000x zoom. This is the DNA that you can see. The purple is the part that I will be cloning. It looked amazing and it was time for the cloning process. I added green Z603. And after puncturing the DNA with a needle, I extracted the DNA out the tube and put it inside a micro centrifuge casing. Once all the DNA was inside the micro centrifuge casing, I then placed it inside my micro centrifuge. I then let it spin at the speed of light for over 32 days. This is you after only a few days old and soon I will have you for myself.